everybody, this is Matt Faulkner bringing you another Ink Show for GottaBeMobile.com. All of our Ink Shows are sponsored by TechSmith using Camtasia Studio to record screen recordings. So let's get on with this review of Pen Commander 2.0. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's uh, start with, uh, let's say, Notepad. Oh, sorry. Notepad. Opens up Notepad. Let's try Word. Opens up Microsoft Word 2007. And let's just say Internet Explorer. Open up Internet Explorer. We'll go to Gotta Be Mobile homepage. Where we can see good old Warner taking a vacation. Probably getting out of the cold weather where he lives. Well, let's go back here to Microsoft Word. Get our cursor in there. Uh, let's type in com. Type in com. You can see that it automatically fills in your internet address there. And I have programmed in gotta. And that will put gotta be mobile.com. So, another feature here, um, you can put address, A-D-D-R, put that in there, it pulls in the whole Fatware Corp address there for you and website. Now, let's just highlight all of that, and let's go to bold. You can see that that puts everything in bold text, let's do italics. You can see that it switched everything over to italics. If you do that again. Oh, let's undo that. Let's put ITAL in there. Takes it back to bold. If you put bold again, it will take it back to normal text. Okay, so let's look at some of the tools and settings in here. If you click on there, you've got some tools for the recognizer. You can start Windows or Pen Commander when Windows boots. You can change the transparency level um, of the box here. So if we do that, it's gone, I guess. 100% transparency. And going back into options, 0% transparency, and you can see that it covers up. Open up tools again, go 42, hit OK, you can see that the window is now transparent, so you can see underneath. Now let's look at one more feature of the Pin Commander application, if you come down here and click on the assign gestures gives you great set of shortcuts and tasks here that you can change and assign characters to uh, so you can copy and paste uh, with some chevrons I mean you can do you know whatever you want and assign these uh, different if you want to do a left up um, you can hit true, you can do the pin commander or key shortcut, and then you can choose any of your uh, gestures or, I'm sorry, commands that you want to use. Now, another feature that uh, pin commander has is if you open up visual pin commander, you can see that you have a window here that you can program uh, different functions, features to um, start using. So if you want to look at how uh, they have done some of the you know, built-in gestures and commands in here, you can see that you know, when you write the ADDR, which you can see here, like I did in Word, it will type out all of this stuff here. You can do, by the way, 
open that one up. You've got, by the way, um, Gata. This is the one I added in here. You can see that when I type Gata, or write Gata in the window, it will type Gata Be Mobile wherever my cursor is. Um, smile. So these are just some things that you can do uh, in Pin Commander. Uh, you can put in advanced. You can open up, you know, uh, let's see, Windows Journal. Starts Journal EXE. So if we want to journal, write that, and you will see that it will open up Windows Journal. So, there's just different uh, features, and actually on the tablet PC, I just saw this one here, um, you can open up Notepad, or I'm sorry, uh, OneNote as well. So if you go Note down here, it will open up OneNote to my latest meeting. That's kind of a quick overview. There's all kinds of features and programmability in the um, visual pin commander here, but this is just uh, showing you some of the quick built-in features to what pin commander has to offer. Another feature you have in pin commander here is you can assign different skins to the pin commander window. You can see here I have it on Windows XP Gray. You can do all kinds of different colors. You can have a fish. Uh, let's see, let's scroll up through some of these so you can see all different kinds of interfaces there. Uh, another thing you can do is actually, if you look in the help, which is very good, I might add, you can see that you've got the skin dialog box and you've got a definition file you can actually put in your own skin so it's also skinnable you know you've got your command line parameters options you know whatever you would like to have in this help it's actually pretty good for helping you learn and do some of this uh, scripting. That was a quick run through there of Pen Commander. Ran through some of the commands opening up some programs. We saw some shortcut gestures and visual Pen Commander. And if there's any other questions you can ask us in the software forum or you can go to fatpad.com and have any of your questions answered there. This has been another Ink Show brought to you by TechSmith. Thank you very much.